Hello YouTube! It's time for a video again! This week in the fish room! What's been going on? I hope I don't waffle too much today. So let, let's get on it. Let's get on it and see what's been going on in the fish room. Right, with all this lockdown stuff going on, like I, I, I've had to move uh, fish around last week, as people who watched my last video will probably know, I, I moved stuff around uh, to make room for the red dove eyes. Anyway, with all this lockdown thing going on, it's very difficult for me to uh, the fish what I don't need or don't want anymore, I can't move them on, because nobody wants to come and collect to them. Well, they do want to come and collect them, but they're not, not allowed to come and collect them. So, uh, strange things. I've been pushing fish from pillar to post. Look at them looking up for the food. I've not fed these. This is a, a female uh, dovi. And she's uh, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Wolfie. I repeat myself tenfold. But what, what uh, my regulars have got... Uh, no, it's some of the when I put a new video on, I get new followers, so they'll not know. So you lot have got to bear with me. And uh, my regulars will know I do waffle on about a load, a load of garbage. So that's me red devil, Botoxomaniac. Anyway, shut up waffling, you're waffling already. Let's strange things have happened in the fish room. When I have to move fish about, I know where to put them. Let's get on it and have a look. Right, re remember on my video la uh, last week, I was saying, like, uh, when I was moving the red dove, I was saying, well, where am I going to put all these fish? I've, got, I've just got to, temporarily, I need to sell some fish, but temporarily, I'll just, just put them anywhere until this uh, isolation lockdown thing uh, lifts. So uh, I just uh, this is this is supposed to be my red tiger moto grow out tank. And I, I put these. Uh, there was already one carpenters in here. I put another one in, thinking, well, that ain't gonna survive. But what's happened is, is they've uh, they've paired up. But the trouble is, when when two cichlids pair up like this. The shit hits the fan. They're looking a bit tatty. The female is bigger than the male. They're looking a bit tatty because of all the uh, scrapping and that what's been going on. But they're, they're, they're uh, going to be spawning. They are going to be spawning. But the, the, the only uh, expense I'm going to pay is me red tiger motos. Which are the fish what I really wanted to grow because I've already got... Nice carpenters. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll sort this out as we go along. These will be spawning, but I've got to find a new home. Either that, or I've got to move the. There's a there's a female red tiger moto. There's a male. There's that's a male tiger moto. There's a bite swimming around in here as well. But anyway, the shit hit the shit hit the fan. Because of the coronavirus! Because I can't sell fish when I need to. So that's the... Is that one the female? Yeah, that's the female. And that's the male. He's, he's smaller. And he's all tatty. Anyway, uh, I'll update this one shortly. Right, it's, it's the next day now. They still haven't spawned. But strange things have been happening. Strange things have been happening. Uh, can you see this uh, female uh, red tiger moto? She, she's actually spawning in that plant pot. Let's have a look at your spawning tube, love. Like she's spawning in that plant pot, and uh, 
She's got no one to fertilise them. Because they're males. But you can't, you can't see. But uh, she is. The, the uh, male... The, this is, like I said, this is my red Tiger Moto grow out tank. And this is what I've been waiting for. For the red Tiger Motos to pair and spawn. Like, uh, she's spawning. And there's no one to fer fertilise the eggs. Because... Oh, they're... Because these bloody uh, carpenters have took over. I need to move... These were put in here temporarily, and I need to move them on. So, Mark from Suffolk, are you listening? When this uh, lockdown's finished, I need you here and take some of these carpenters off me hands. So, uh, where's all the males? Hiding. Never, nowhere to be seen. Look at that white nose. That's because that's they've been uh, locking jaws and fighting. There's one. That's another female, actually. The males didn't come out. And the females, they're laying anyway. I'm waffling on and showing you garbage, aren't I? So, like, uh, I need to move some of these carpenters on. I don't know whether to keep... I've got, I've got six. I don't know whether to keep these two because of the paired, and move some of the others on. Let's just, just move across to the next tank. This is my uh, favourite my favorite male at the moment. He's like about, uh, I, bet, I bet he's like, he's got to be nine or ten inches now, but he ain't got a knuckle hump. I think it's because he's got no females with him. Or maybe he ought to keep a female and... Uh, he might grow a hump. Anyway, strange things always are happening in the fish room. Strange things always happening in the fish room. This uh, red tiger moto spawning. When well, I've been waiting for it for ages. Maybe she. Maybe it's hormones. Maybe she can smell the hormones. Of these getting frisky. So it triggered her off to spawn. Anyway, while we're talking about strange things happening, I'll show her what I think is another strange thing. Hang on, I'll be back. Put you on pause. Right, the other strange thing in the fish room this week is this, uh, me world warrior, me small... When I keep saying small, he's got to be 13 inches or so. Me small uh, male umbrifium, umbe. Down there, there's uh, hundreds of hundreds of maybe a thousand fry or so. And he's absolutely, his, his colours don't look good. He's gone dark and stressed, but he's protecting them fry. All the other fish I keep, the Central Americans, the female tends to fry. Shall I show you the, where the female is? Let's go across. There's our hiding places. Look, look at her lips. He's been fighting. He will. He doesn't let her come out. She wants to tend the fry, but he's taken over tending the fry. Can you? You probably can't see him. Is that in focus? I can see him now. There he is. He's tending the fry. And the and the minute uh, the female comes out. He does uh, rams her and she has to go back in again. So uh, this is a, uh, well I think this is unusual behaviour really because all the other cichlids what I keep, the female looks after the fry and the male does it defending. Yeah so he's a modern a modern man. So like, uh, don't, don't let your missus say this, she'll have you doing the hoovering dusting and ironing and looking after the kids so this is another tank what the uh, lockdowns are interfering with I've got a female dovi here what I cannot put in the, the tank with the me, uh, red grow outs because she's too big she'll probably uh, kill them and this is uh, the tank what I was dedicating to little Morris little Morris when I say little Morris he's about 12 inches or so so like he's, he's doing good but 
I need to move this fish on. I have people wanting to buy me fish. I don't, I, I don't uh, normally sell them anyway, but sometimes you have to move fish on, don't you? I have people wanting to come and uh, collect fish, but we're not allowed to in the UK. Maybe it's different in the USA. How Trump's wanting to lift the restrictions, get the uh, economy going again, in, doesn't he? Anyway, little Morris. So uh, these are the things what have been going on the, on the in the fish room this week. Anyway, uh, am I waffling? I'm trying not to. I, when I go on too long, I, I think I'm going on too long. The best thing to do is hit that pause button. Pause. Right, it's time to wrap this video up now. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm sat here. Lockdown lunacy, isn't it? I'm sat here in front of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Wolfie. A tw this is my 20-inch dough boy. Bred by myself, homebred. And it's eight years old. People will say, how come it took eight years to grow a 20-inch dough boy? Well, that's how long it takes. Have patience in the hobby. I'll tell you now. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'll do some waffling on again. So, like, uh, uh, has the coronavirus lockdown affected your fish room? It's, it's affected mine slightly, but not too much. It's just fish what I need to move along to make room for others. So, anyway, uh, say goodbye to Wolfie. 20 inch dove eye. And uh, Mrs. Wolfie. So until next time, happy fish keeping to you all. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And keep doing your water changes. Until next time, ta -ra.